What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. Today, we are going to do our uh, Kerwitz stipulation, which is specifically draft cards Kerwit would draft. Sammy, thank you for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate it, my dude. Okay. Um, out of this pack, I actually have no idea what he would take. Oh boy. Does, I mean, are you going to help me at all? Or is this just me go doing it on my own? Oh God. This is painful. I'm already in pain. I'm pain. No help. Fantastic. I don't think any of these cards, I just want to take the manager in because I have literally no idea. And I'd rather have something good reserved. I don't think any of these cards have any connection to you whatsoever. None of these cards. Oh, God. <laughs> storm stuff. You like doing storm stuff. Thousand year storm stuff. So maybe we are blue. Brainstorm, maybe. Oh, God. This is so painful. Will you tell me after, like, what I, pick, what I picked or what? I mean, I don't know what's going on. Not that's a little Yep. Oh Jesus. Oh god. It's not a plow under Ulamog. You don't make a ton of comments when you pick cards. That's the thing. Oh god, do we just draft storm? I don't know. I'll take Brainstorm, because I don't... Okay, this is actually what I think they replaced Thousand Year Storm with, so I think I'm just going to take Aether Flux Reservoir. Because Kerwit just wants to play a bunch of cards and have cards that affect those cards. And I don't think anything else really seems like it fits better. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just going to take the Aether Flux Reservoir, which is a really weird third pick. Bolus's Citadel. That's got to be a card. That's got to be a card Kerr would want me to take, right? Doesn't he love this thing? I have no idea. Oh, my God. None of these cards really strike me, though, as, like, Kerwood cards. I don't think Kerwood has enough cards. To, to have this stipulation exist. But here we are. Okay. Okay. There's an Umazawa's Jite. Michael, you forgot your clothes up here still. God, what a Melvin. Classic. None of these cards strike me as Kerwit cards. I guess we'll take the Rona. Does he like Lotus Petal? He does. He loves Boros Reckoner, and he loves Blasphemous Act, and he loves Boros Reckoner adjacent cards. But that's it. That's all I know. And I'm going to take... Jite is not a Kerwick card. I agree. I guess Lotus Petal, maybe? I don't think it's any of the... Like, none of these strike me. The only thing I can think is, like, I'm leaning into the Storm preferences that Kerwood often has with Thousand Year Storm. I don't think Boros Reckoner is an archetype. Storm is, though. I, I know. Then no one said it, who said it was. No. Well, because you... All right. <laughs> you said it like you were responding to someone. Well, I don't think I don't think Boros Reckoner is really an archetype. As if someone said, we should draft the Boros Reckoner archetype, and then you respond with, I don't think Boros Reckoner is an archetype. You said it as if it was a response. I've never heard Kurt talk about or mention any of these cards. So I'm just going to take the zero-cost cards to go with our Aetherflux Reservoir. Maybe a High Tide? This is painful. 
like in in my head, Kerwitz hierarchy of things is Boros Reckoner, Blasphemous Act, Spite Mare, that that kind of stuff, and then Thousand Year Storm, yep. and then Mystery. <laughs> so I'm I would hide as a growing heart. So I guess you like this is s- good Storm. This is good feedback. We'll give it. He's. We'll do it live. Oh yeah, who's that? Bobby of the Bobby Brown Hockey Society. Bobby of the Bobby Brown Hockey Society. See how close I was. Bill O'Reilly, Michael. And he was fired from Fox News for sexual assault. So, so I hope you're proud of yourself. Hope you're proud of yourself. I didn't do it. Not yet. Give it time. There's two problems. One is bad. Two, I'd have to become that person, technically. You'll, be your, you'll do it on your own. You don't need anybody's help, Michael. Great art. Which one do you think is good art, though? It doesn't matter which one I think is good art. It matters which I ones I think he would... Art I know what his art taste is, but none of it really matches Magic the Gathering. I took a Sphinx of the Steel win because maybe we cast off this. Maybe we get a Tinker to get the Bolus of Citadel, and then we... Yeah, as he waddled away... Um, okay, Ulamog's Ceaseless Hunger. I don't think he cares about that. I don't think he cares about Meat Hook Massacre either. <sighs> Maybe Fatal Push? Kurt also is like, uh, oh man, the Bobby Brown Hockey Society might need to be a t-shirt. <laughs> I guess it's just this. Dear Jesus, this deck does not look great. What are you doing, man? I'm going to trash back later. I promise. Unbelievable. I won't do, I won't do that. What did you just say? What did you just no. say? Hey, whoa. What did you say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't be bringing that on the Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to take Whisk, Whisk, Wish Claw Talisman. Whisk, 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 Whisk. <laughs> now that you are married, when are you guys going to officially adopt Moochol? Moochol's been my son for 10 years now. A, a deck Kerwood drafted wouldn't be very good. Well, I think we're on the right track then. Hello, my little bud. Balance? Does Kerwood like balance? I don't know either. You can't ever get him to draft with us, so it's hard to tell. That's him. true. We did two cube drafts while Christian was here um, for the for the bachelor for my bachelor party stuff and for the wedding. He participated in neither. I don't even know how we became friends. He doesn't even seem to like magic that much. He likes collecting magic. I think he likes collecting and watching, but not a huge fan of actually playing magic. I think that's how I would describe Christian. That's valid, I mean. It's a collectible card game. Yeah, I collect tons of stuff that I don't actually use. <laughs> like magic, mostly. Well, the, uh, sometimes you use it. Never. I guess comics, you're not really reading those ones. They just kind of sit there. Okay. Okay. What do you want to pick, you little shit? Got him. Sniff my whip. Sniff it? Yeah, it's probably because you got some barbecue sauce on it. Is this, am I still online? Did the internet crash? Okay, I guess we got a putrid imp. No one had said anything for like a, a thousand years. And then also, there was no picks and I was scared. Christian, Kerwit picks. What's it going to be? Hmm. Yeah, Super Fritz actually cast Bribery, stole my Atali, and then Atali hit his own Nicol Bolas Planeswalker, and then he put it into play. That's sick. Not for you, but... And then I won that game. Whoa, what a tweet! Just kidding, I lost. I conceded the next turn. I'm pretty much always leaving. <laughs> Babe, what's going on? All right, so... 
is it Chrome Mox? Would Kurt would Kurt like a Chrome Mox? I assume if he's playing, he likes to cast Duress? a spell. Dark Ritual. It's got to be Dark Ritual, right? That's fair. Okay. Oh, Mind Twist. Does he like Mind Twisting? I don't think he commented it on Wally. This is very upsetting. The Strocky's getting sucked in sucked my lip. My little doggy lips. <laughs> oh, Michael, give Wally a little smooch on his doggy lips. Uh, seems like a... Whatever. He's going... On. An, Dark Ritual really was an acceptable choice. Place, okay, you know. not the best, though. <sighs> this is tricky. Does he like commas? Is it Baral? That's a stormy thing. It is, but we don't have a ton of great stormy things here. I don't know how he feels about Mind Twist. Maybe good, maybe bad. Who knows? We got a winning condition, you know? What is it? That is a very loose win condition. Oh, God, I got 15 seconds. Fudge. Do you like winning? Mind Twist. Break for that. I'll take Baral, I guess. I don't, I'll don't. i take Force of Will, I guess. Oh, God, I'm, that was a tough one. Lion's Eye Diamond. What did he tell me to take Lion's Eye Diamond? I don't think so. I don't like that. Uh, I'm sorry. Too difficult to hold yours. Ah, you're being really mean. Yeah, rub your little belly off because Wally sheds a lot. He's hypoallergenic, Michael. God. I'm going to take the Watery Grave just for the sake of our mana base. God, oh, he does enjoy an LED. Dang it. All right, but that's good to know. That kind of helps me out. But I blacked out. You didn't take that. What? I blacked out. You didn't take that. No, I took the watery grave. I think. Oh, that's fine. It might come back. Mystical tutor could be good here. I would take treachery personally. Also, desperate ritual. I'm not sure how deep we're going. I think we have to. We might just have to take rituals. I think we have to take Treachery's rituals free, and go though. red. What? But free, free. that that doesn't mean he would take it. Just don't feel like we're adding red. But it's a it's storm. A stipulation, Treachery is a storm man. card. It's definitely not a storm card. I mean, just because you can cast it for free. Yeah. yeah. Storm going up. I want to take the ritual. I feel like. I feel like this is. This is a pretty desperate ritual. I like him yeah. the Torak. I think Charter Course is probably better for what we're trying to do here. So I want to take the Charter Course. LED plus under reach. That makes sense. I hear that's a good combo. Do you really? Yeah. Really? Wow. Oh, a mind's desire? That's got to be correct, right? I think anything with Storm is pretty much a given. Or mind's desire. I haven't even seen this yet. I didn't even know this was still in the cube. I just saw this meme. I'm going to share it with you guys so you guys can enjoy it as well. Perfect. So so true, man. The white tee, the tank top. It has a white tee and a tank top? Yes. Two shirts? Yeah. The only storm card that was cut was the red one. Empty the words? That's the worst storm card, right? You're the worst storm card. Yeah, because I'm not one. Inquisition is good. This is a tri land, so I'm gonna take that. The set, the other thing I would take would be Fire Blast because I'd want to be able to cast our spells, or because it's basically a free spell. Oh, the Village Geeks, thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I don't think Gravechaw's in here, right? It's Gilbert, right? Are you finally playing Commander? Not really, no. I got him to play once. I did, but I didn't dislike it. You had the classic, oh, my deck's like a six or a seven. And then oh my god, yeah, Jake was like, my deck's not even that good. And then he's like, well, I'll kill everybody in one turn. And then we were like... It's just like literally every elf deck I've ever seen mm -hmm. in Commander, because it's just, it's like a... A less extreme version of Elf Ball and Legacy, and it's always the same. Oh, I wonder if Christian is if, if Christian is a Yogmoss Will fan. 
If he likes through the breach. Let's find out. I feel like he's got it like that. Did we? I I actually we... took apart my low power elves deck because it was still too good for most stables. Kerwood approves. Beautiful. Nice. The official seal. Like my favorite pizzas. Cecilians. <sighs> Dear Jesus, Michael. Dear Jesus, Michael. You still Michael? haven't wrote me today. Roten, you still haven't roten me today. <laughs> me and Katie are trying to get Michael to phase out all these words that he says, like roten or boughten, um, because they're not real words. I think we'll take dig through time. I don't think Kerwood gives a shit about any of these other cards. Oh, Brawl came back? I thought I took that guy. Also interesting how his two favorite things in Magic like are so not in the same realm. I guess they're both combos. They are very dissimilar. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't think he cares about any of these cards. I'll just take this Valky. If you f if you flip this off of Mind's Desire, can you play the back half? I imagine you can. Wait, didn't they change the rule how that works where you have to... Because of that one deck? What? Like, I think you have to... Did they... Ch I don't... What? Didn't they change a rule about that? Because there you was like a still deck bring to light it, right? Dig know. is what I would have selected from that from that pack first. Wow, that's good to know. Still got it. Culture. Dig is one of my favorite cards of all time. Oh, what up, Unastro Noir? Noir. Nothing's good here. I guess we'll take Lingering Souls. Okay. Was specifically cascade or just like casting from exile things? What was the word you just said? It wasn't boughten. It was. It was a version of that. Was something else? I don't know. Right, I can't think. It was of like a hundred years ago. <laughs> it was literally less than two. Well, minutes you ago. don't remember either. So, <laughs> lingering souls is a fire card, but not for this deck. Hey, Valky is so still free on either side from Mind's Desire, so you can cast either side off the exile. Rotten. They hadn't rotten me yet. <laughs> rotten. I think it was rotten right, me. Yeah. But <laughs> You'd probably read that. Like, I would probably read that as rotten. Dear mother, why have you not rotten me? Your baby boy. All right, we took bone shards and shallow grave as our last choices. I was making a weird joke about Deer Slim. That was what I was going for there. For the record. What record? Some shady LP? No. Guys, I think he's blacking out. I like Ancestral Vision. I think Christian might as well. I also like Dak Faden. I also think Bloodstained Mire is probably a really good pick here. I also think Shieldred is probably very good. Biscuits and gravy. He doesn't like Shieldred, right? Who doesn't? I said who doesn't. Oh. I feel like he might like Dak Faden. I don't know, actually. Spawns fast enough. He's not going to. I'm getting no help. Uh, being Storm. I think it might be Ancestor Vision, but it's also. I think I'm just. Hmm, Bloodstained Mire is really, really good. Yeah, it gets it's a try. Land. Yeah, it's probably. I'm going to take the Bloodstained Mire because we need land. Mana Vault and Grim Model. It's in the same pack, huh? How come you ain't rotten me? <laughs> Oh, boy. All things being equal, I think it's probably Mana Vault. We'll probably take Vision. Shoulder is probably a better card. I think Vision was probably my first choice just because of the archetype. But I think we're going to take Mana Vault here. Because it's a lot cheaper. And the, the one mana might make a difference in the late game when we're trying to... Um, Urza Saga actually gets three of our artifacts so far. What would Kerwood take? Fencer? I mean, I would assume I would assume there's a part of him that would take Sacred Foundry just because it's a Boros Reckoner land. 
That ship's kind of sailed, though. I'm going to take the Venser because I feel like that could be Kerwit like. I think Course of Portal feels correct here. I don't know if it's correct. It could even be Consecrated Sphinx. I would probably take Saga. Oh, really? That's interesting. See, I feel like I'm learning more about you than I than I would Is have thought. Third path guy, because there's spells. It's also in colors he likes, I think. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you make a 1-1 one, one artifact creature. Comes to the board, accidental and condition, I don't know. Side eye. Side I think it's I think it's Course of Portal. I feel good about Course of Portal there. It's like one of your favorite magic cards. I think we take Tinker because we have a bunch of yeah, crappy Citadel. artifacts and we yeah. can get Bolas' Citadel with it. That's pretty good. That's actually great. That's a great late pickup. And nothing else really stands out to me, to be honest. Um, this is this is island and mountain. This is island and swamp. I do like Knight's Whisper a lot, but we also already have Chart of Course. I think I just want the Fixing Land because of the deck so far. Past in Flames actually might be what he'd take. I don't think we have enough rituals to make it worthwhile, though. I kind of wish we would have taken Sphinx because we don't actually have a win condition right now. Yeah, we do. Aetherflux Reservoir. You already said it. We really don't have the pieces. I guess we could... Yeah, maybe. I'm going to take the fixing... Oh, God. I'm going to take the fixing here because it feels right. Even though it's not a... Oh, shit. Um, Herbert hates opposition. Good to know. I think it's Jace. I think, I think Jace has the best chance of being correct. I could see Glenelendra also being a pick, but I feel like Jace is probably a little better. That's kind of cool. Add a red for each card in their hand. I mean, like, they'd have to have literally four cards in their hand for this to net you anything. Candelabra doesn't do anything for us, does it? There's no way to defend ourselves, huh? I think it is just Ophiomancer. I'm not sure if that's correct, but I don't think Kerwood has any uh, affiliation with any of those cards, so. Bonkers? Interesting. Kerwood likes the idea of Candelabra, but seems medium. I mean, I think it's just, I think it could be fine if you have like a, like Talarian Academy that's like making a bunch of mana. Or if, like, Cabal Coffers was in the queue, but honestly, it just doesn't feel super impactful. Oh, we do have High Tide, don't we? Smart. Smart. Bonkers was a cartoon. I remember but the candy. Bonkers was one of my favorite candies. A bunch of people lands... <sighs> There's a way to get a commander, you know. Okay, so Shieldred is here, and Ancestral is not. So I think Shieldred is the card. Yeah. I do like Thief of Sanity as well a lot. Um, I think I'm just taking Nicol Bolas Godfair to have a, another win condition. Necromancy, Woe Strider. A less Norn, but we're not white at all. That is odd that she ordered willed. That is actually very odd. I don't understand it also either. said she willed, not wield, so. That was good. This guy just makes a guy. We're not going to be necromancy anything, so that's fine. We could also possibly play Sphinx of the Steel one now that we have Tinker. Oh, the third path Iconoclast came back. I will take this guy. He seems to go well with our deck, but... Who knows? Just our human, no. Uh, it was interesting coding at one point, but... Right now, I'm just trying to get a job I like, and then I'll have time to maybe learn something new. We definitely could cut red, but we also have Bloodstained Mire, Xander's Lounge. We have a bunch of easy ways to play it. I don't think we kind of need it. Why? I think we need Bolas and that guy to like do stuff. I don't know. 
Now they're gone. What are you going to do now? I guess Shieldridge and some weird combination of a good Aetherflux turn is maybe enough. I mean, we're just going to mind Desire and we're just going to storm out with Aetherflux Reservoir, Michael. So stop being a little baby. I think if you legitimately have Reservoir on the table or hit it early on your Mind's Desire, you probably We can also win. tinker into it, keep in mind. That's smart. Thank you. Smart. Thank you. Actually, smart. Between those three and the desires and the bullet, that's probably fine. Also, sometimes, like, when you just start storming, your opponents are just like, eh, and they just quit, you know? It's true. They ain't got time for that. We'll take a makeshift mannequin. What's your win condition? They get bored. Smart. It's valid. I mean, we could also still play all of these uh, without red. Like, Xander's Lounge is still a dual land. Bloodstained Myra still gets Watery Grave and Xander's Lounge, so. Whether we play red or not. I mean, this seems fine. I'll play this. I feel like we play the Bolas because the red's kind of free. It's, I mean, maybe. Plus, like, the card's sick, you know? The card's sick. Can you ever cast that thing? It's wild. The card's sick. Sick, bro. What are we cutting, then? Diggy? Yeah, we don't have that many fetches. Like, I don't love yeah. Dig because we have Yawgmoth's Will, so it's kind yeah. of counterproductive. You're right. Plus, we do have Charter Course to draw, Jason Rona to, to loot, Brainstorm. I guess we can also just win with Rona, right? That's also win condition on the flippy side. I mean, it's definitely... I've definitely killed someone with Rona before, so... Yes. Killed him a time or two. I don't think I want that. Um, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I could see going to 8 here and just maximizing our islands. Yeah, two sources of red seems like plenty. Oh, three if you count pedal. So. And sometimes you'll get it for free off the desire, you know? Never heard of it. It's like a million sources. I don't know what you're saying. I'm speaking a different what language. I played a deck that had Thrag Tusk, that Rhino that multiplies life gain, and clones and flicker effects, which led to me gaining hundreds of life a turn. And usually opponent quit, though I didn't have any win con in the deck. Thrag Tusk is a win con. Yeah, them attack. Yeah, just gotta get through there. Oh, I guess you can... The is a guy could get you enough tokens to sack to Citadel is another weird win condition. Ooh, also you can tinker the tokens, because they're artifacts. That's kind of neat. Yes, tinker the tokens. Tinker the tokens, Michael. Do it swiftly. I actually do kind of like that, but I feel like it, it would take it would take a lot of work. Yeah, you've got to gotta play a two drop. Playing two red red card. Yeah, that seems almost impossible. And you get that guy late. Mulligan this hand. Oh, Jesus. It didn't get better. Oh, boy. 17 lands and a lotus petal and a mana vault. And this is where we're ending up. We're going five. Keep it, I guess. Ship one of you and ship. Because he tokens, Michael. Or else you'll have to be in the factory forever. What? What does that even mean? Literally nothing. It literally means something. No. Literally. That was the person I asked before. I work for a bank, but it's a very stressful position for not enough money. So I'm trying to get it? out of that. And then I'll consider doing something I like for a living. Yeah, beautiful wish claw talisman. Gorgeous, you might say. I wouldn't say that. Hmm. You get three wishes? Wow. You get two. They get one. Do you know what this card does? Oh, it's a different card. Smart. <laughs> What's smart? What do you mean? What are you saying? No. Oh, God. I'm going to murder him. Uh, right on stream. I'm never going to get away with it because there'll be so many witnesses. Just pause the recording, dummy. Ah. Smart. You're not smart enough See for this. it. You're not, you're not built for murder. Uh, <clears throat> Sack your shell, Doc Isle. Anything a bank oh, does, I do. Wow, Anything man. a bank does, I can do better. <laughs> Wow, he's so arrogant. Uh, I'm a resolution manager, so people call and ask for a manager. I, I do all the things. I resolute them. Yeah. I worked all the departments, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera. 
I can transfer you to the apartment who can give you a loan. If there's a problem, I can fix it. If there's a problem, yo, he'll solve it. Yeah. Check out the hook while Mike B resolves it. That is a weird way to describe my job perfectly, actually. It's pretty rare I can't help someone when they call in. It's unless they're being ridiculous. I'm tempted to just chart a course here and maybe we hit manage rain. We didn't, but this is still pretty good. Uh, yeah, service experience manager is that would I assume that job would be very similar to mine. You got an offer? I'll take it. <laughs> as long as it pays decent. It doesn't. Jokes on you. It's gonna be worse. Oh, what are they gonna get? Black Lotus. I bet it's gonna be one mana or less. Smart. The blackest of lotuses. Isn't Nordstrom also going out of business now? What? I don't think so. Mana crypt, eh? I feel like Nordstrom is one of those popular, like, you know, department store chains. Oh, I'm generally interested in remote stuff because remote is amazing. I don't really want to ever not do that unless it's for. You're clearly not insane. a team player. I play with my team all the time. I'm like, hey, good job over there. Oh, okay, so I didn't know you worked for Nordstrom. That's pretty cool. Oh, dear. Oh, Christ. They're going to just kill our Wishclaw Talisman, aren't they? Oh, that's... Fascinating. They got remote. I can work from my house. So, it looks like they got creature, sorcery, and land. That's not great. If there was a problem, yo, well, so they chose Green Sun, Vorinclex, and Island. Wow. Recruiting HR. Can't do HR. Mm. Recruiting's kind of sus. It's pretty interesting, sis. I don't have a land here. The only hope is that they attack for like 40. We, we can wish claw for something, giving that to them, letting them use it. And then get it back. Smart. I don't know if that is smart. Actually, oh, when do they get it? An opponent. Oh, they get it right after, so I can't tinker it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, still like, feels like tinker, though. It's cheaty proof. I mean, we can still tinker like a Mishra's bobble, though. Yeah, that seems good. And then you get Citadel and Hope. Do we do it now? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now would be the time to do it. We're at 19, yeah. So we gotta get a horse. That's true. Oh yeah, we do need reservoir on play, don't we? <laughs> uh, let's get watery grave. Say yes. This is three. This is three mana. Do we have a way to get a fourth mana? Can we have one floating? Yes. Save the day. I'll leave now. I've done my job. Oh my god, are we going to do it? I think, yeah. I gained like seven because of the storm count. Yeah, I mean, you got to pay 50, right? Or is it 40 or 50 life? It's 50. Okay. Oh, this is just amazing. <laughs> Put two I guess it doesn't matter because, back. yeah, I guess Citadel is just like infinite free stuff, um, right? Um, This one and this one. Cast that. Uh, can you bounce your own thing? I can bounce anything, right? Yeah. I'm just seeing if we can bounce something from Mars. That'll be beneficial. Cool. Not really. No, no, no. 
Uh, well, the, storm count, you could just... Wait, no, that doesn't work because it's for top of library. I can just bounce this. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Prepare the laser. Hmm, that's not what we want. What do you... We kill him. Oh. I, that was going on too fast. I didn't know how much life we had. Woo! Hey, man. I like the way you die, <laughs> boy. I did say that was a wound condition. Michael, you've never been be you've never been more right in your life. Also, this is kind of the storm deck I like, where it's like, not really good, but it kind of works. It works when you get it, you know? When that hits, you know? That, yeah, when that, that beat dopamine. drops. <laughs> when that base drops, you're like, oh, I did it. It's like when I used to have a commander deck that was all about uh, trying to get... Uh, that was on a mold of five as well. Ooh, that's hot. Can imagine if we had seven cards. Too powerful. <sighs> I used to have a deck that was just obsessed with getting Omniscience into play. Omniscience? But it wasn't that good. But then, but people still don't like it because they don't like playing it. So that's why I, did, I had to stop playing it. My dumb switch updates and took away all the glitches. Now I'm completely... Res took away all the glitches. Now... I'm completely resetting my switch so I can un-update, but I'm losing all my... Wait, but the... Do you need glitches that much? What are glitches? Aren't glitches bad? No, like, I think he's referring to the Zelda glitches where you can do cool stuff like fly across the map or, like, things like that, I assume. Oh, like, are... bugs that are kind of fun to have yeah. exist? That's weird. Or, like, break the game in, like, a positive way. I assume. Oh, God. There was a lot of that in the... Oh, yeah, okay. Did just go to five fun. again? Uh, this yeah, I would definitely. You know, not, not this. bugs, features. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh god, this hand—it's like we have both of our tinker targets in a hand, which is pretty rough. Yeah, this is like this is terrible. Yeah, so I guess we go to five. They went to six too, though. So to sixty-two. Yeah, they're already dead. They don't have any cards. This is an easy keep. Yeah, um, this is a snapper. One. Like reservoir. Yes, smart. So smart, like the smartest man I've ever met. I'm not good at a lot of magic, but I think I'm I'm pretty good at piling storm kind of decks. It's kind of my jam. Island. Can't really play it in commander oh, without making it competitive, so it's awkward. Do I just first turn Tinker out of Bolas' Citadel? Feels correct, right? Yeah, slam that shit, B. Slam it. Oh, wait, I can't. Fuck. I can't. Oh. I can't. Oh no. We done messed up. He's having a bad time. Oh no. That's that's ter see you, you shouldn't know you should have stopped me, Michael. It all happened so fast. You can't control Z after casting a spell. <laughs> oh no! I mean, yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not great. Would you like? Should we concede out of? Well, nah, no. I guess not. They're not pressuring us. I got a hermit. Sure, that's, that's a bit of pressure. Well, you think nine power is pressure? Whatever, man. If this is an island, I'm a rage. I think it's what they call a three-turn clock. So that sucks. Actually, I guess they don't... Oh, no, wait. Yeah, wait. 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Not quite. Now we concede. There it is anyway. We wouldn't have even been able to get it. Okay. Listen. Let's do it again. That first game was fire, though. God damn. Yeah. Aetherflux Reservoir is great, because no matter what card you're playing off Bola Citizel, you're always going to net life off of it at a certain point. Yeah, that was smooth as butter. These two are like also, BFFs. Also, Wishclaw is really living up to its... This is just Demonic Tutor, because the game just ends. That's why you want to use it then. Yeah, that's, that's why I used it, because I knew whatever they got with it, I could counter with Mana Drain. But then I was like, you gain seven life off the Atraxa, and I lose seven, so I have significantly less life to play with. Well, also one of the reasons why, like, like uh, besides, what are they called? They disconnected. They're gone. Stack stacks. Uh, competitive EDH is actually, like, more gross than Legacy, kind of. Cool. I, I, I just want to live their life, man. <laughs> Uh, we don't have any way to cast the sinks. I guess we do. <clears throat> Should we play sinks? 
For what? I'm, I, I, I never want to... I don't want to have it in my hand, and I'd rather just hit Bolas' Citadel than Sphinx every time. Yeah. Fair enough. It's a green deck. They're just going to kill it. They can't kill it. It's got pro green. I think that was the suggestion. Smart. Yeah. Well, never mind. What? Were you going to say something stupid? Probably. Dang it. I missed I it. I didn't remember what other color they were, so... I was like, are they red? And I'm like, I don't know that. I made it up. Hmm. I made it up. I might be going to the Nicol Bolas. Because it is an extra target and it is something that we can just play off the top. Play Sphinx as a man. <laughs> Serious answer to the birthday question when it actually happened is yes. Is that a thing? There's got to be a tag for it. But it does. Cast him as a man? Cast him as a man, maybe. I think that's the actual quote. Cast him? I haven't seen it yet. He's there. There it is. Cast, Cast him. him. Yeah, all right. Ass <laughs> man, wow. <laughs> Rider as a man. <laughs> Rider. Cast Rider as a man. Cast him as a man. <laughs> the accent that really sells it the is. joke. It makes it seem like you're in like an epic period piece. Yeah. I think the reason like I don't you're like... You're on the battlefield. Cast him as a man. I think the reason why I don't like that haircut anymore is because it looks like I have some kind of weird helmet on. You do have a weird helmet on. <laughs> it's called your, your head, Michael. It's your beautiful head helmet. Call the head helmet. It'll fix your pain. This washing. Where? By your feet. I don't believe you. Well, that's because you're stupid. <laughs> cast him as a man. <laughs> I love it when they play fast bond and then they, they cast nothing off of it. They cast nothing as a man. Well, it might untap and kill us, so that is a concern. So here's the thing. Do we keep up mana drain because of that, or do we play a Jace here? I like getting Jace started, but I'm afraid with, of what they could do. I'm going to pass because they have the fear. Your son's hungry. He already ate. They all ate. Your son's a savage. He's, he's trying to manipulate my, me. Michael, he is the cute little dog. eyes. I do often beg for food. so Yeah, and you never fall. He just keeps eating and eating and eating. So in library. I'm definitely eating again today. Congratulations. Why, but, don't, you, why don't you brag about it? But it's going to be like cereal. Because it's a tasty. Are you fruit. surreal right now? Like I don't want to counter that. I don't. I want something bigger and better. But man, Sylvan Library is really good. So we get free mana. That's pretty neat. Hey, we'll draw an artifact. Dang it! He bounces land to be a jerk. One, two, three, four, five, five mana. God, I kind of want to get that Jace out there, but I guess I could go. No, I can't. I only have two blue. No, I have three blue. I don't have. I don't have three blue if I use one of the blacks. This it's is really tricky. I think Bouncing the Land is actually kind of good. They have Fast Bomb. Oh, they just yeah. play it. <laughs> Shit. He's right. He is right. It's not a very good Fast Bomb, though. More like Slow Bond. That is... It's true. It's, it's done more nothing. like Slow Bond. It's a, it's a blank. This was also unexciting, but whatever. They don't have a Sylvan Library now, so... I think it's more exciting than what they're doing. That was barely... That was like the most slurred, drunken... No. Spe that was more exciting than they're doing. Are you considered No. That's totally fine. Every time they play something like this, I'm like, I don't, I don't like the know, weird man. blue green storm deck. That guy's a banger, though. They had a Traxxas, so that guy's real sick. This guy? Yeah. Really? Well, I'm a little biased, but yes. Oh, sweet Jiminy Christmas! We can't cast it. That's unfortunate. God damn, there's no... It might just be worth ritualing that out. I like him because of Titania. Make two fat boys. You like the fat boys, don't you? Or one fat boy. All right. Whenever they draw, they lose a lot. Those are disgusting. You mean visually? Because she looks like a fat bug? I guess that too. Hmm. I was going to say temptation. For that you ready? Green sun for three. What could it be? 
Green sun for three. Okay, Mystic on top. Fast spawn Courser is a combo. That is a combination move. Not you with. So I jace first or second? I think I jace second because then I can Shut discard one of the crappy money. cards. What? Nehemiah, that's amazing, dude. Oh my god, you're awesome, dude. Big money. Dude, thank you so much, man. I am also really sorry that you couldn't make it. I was really looking forward to seeing you. Adam Kianaga was there and Richard Neal were there. And uh, man, I wish you were there. Also, we were talking about me visiting Seattle, so that would be super sweet. And I would love to come see you guys. Dude. That is so generous of you. Oh my god, I love you to death, man. Is someone I know? Uh, you did you know Nehemiah in Seattle? Don't worry, I don't. Wow. Well, I mean, well, it, I had a bad time, you know, so my memory's true. a little foggy for certain events. So, dude, I would definitely let you know when you're when I'm in town for sure. I would bring my cube and we can do a little cube draft in. Oh my god, dude, I really appreciate that. That's so fucking awesome of you. All right, we didn't meet, so I'm not a jerk. <laughs> Score. All right, we brainstorm first. And then we draw a million. And then we tinker this thing. Sounds good. Uh, put two cards on top. Also, she gives you more life for a uh, Bolus of Citadel, which is kind of kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Let's put a pedal here. I mean, unless they're comboing, I don't think a green deck can do much against a... Uh... Oh, they got black, though. Never mind. Let's get B-Sit. B-City. Uh, do I play land this turn? No. So that's a freebie. Dang it. Oh, tricks. Ah, oh, dang it. That's true. Three lands. It's unlucky. Jace flips. Oh, Can we do it with the Jace flip? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, we can get a Lotus Petal? No, we can't. It's up to, it's an instant or sorcery, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we tried. Okay. I mean, we're still in pretty good shape. Also, the fetch land's a pretty good land to draw when you have a citadel. I guess we just attack here, right? I don't know why you wouldn't. Me neither. Nehemiah, dude. Oh my god, I'm like blown away. Thank you so much, man. 200 cakesters. Dude, weddings are expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wild. It's all for one day, too. It's true. Uh, we didn't have a blue mana for for Venser, unfortunately. Or for uh, for Brainstorm. It's like a crazy college party, but more wholesome. Well, that's sad that you would do that. I guess we can get Tinker again. No, we don't have an artifact this time. Alexa, stop. I don't know. She just like heard something in a different room? She She's still going. Time. Pretty sure when I was working the other day in your stream and I heard her go off to you and I was like, no one talked to you. <laughs> no one talked to you. That sounds mean, but. Um, hmm. I mean, we can tinker and get something, right? I mean, I don't know. We could brainstorm here. Oh, we could brainstorm and put something here. Let's do that. And you could tinker for a portal, right? I need an artifact to do that, though. Smart. I could also just get Sphinx of the Steelwind, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. You bore it in. That wow. seems very good. That's not great. Uh, put two cards on top. That's what the fetch he's for. Yes, that's true. Let's just get it a Swamp Arena. Seems better than not getting a swamp, right? That's true. I mean, this is probably just good enough to win the game if they can't answer it. I mean, Shieldred's a threat, dude. It's a one-card win condition. Draw Yogwill. That is smart. And we still have a Venser, so we can, like... Vince? You're going to draw that. Don't care that Augur of Autumn is on top. I would bounce the Courser, but with Augur of Autumn on top, I don't really care that much. That was two life per card. This is brutal. Jeez Louise. You're just attacking with this guy. Interesting. I mean, Jace can go to one here. I think that's fine. Yeah. I think bouncing their blocker is better. 
Well, I think they're going to play Mana, Mana Vault into something else, which is why they didn't attack with Elf. Here's Mana Vault. Scavenging Ooze. You lied to hell with me, I did lie. Why do you lie? I don't know. I'll activate it. Out, am I? <laughs> oh, God, we're at 37 life? God, shoulder is a hell of a thing when you double double brainstorm. Jeez. Gaining 12 is a lot. That's not what we're looking for, unfortunately. Just when you think brainstorm's out of tricks, tricks you again. It's true. This is six damage, and they take another. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to win this. They haven't really done anything. Yeah, I think we're just attacking for six here. I was going to keep Jace up, so then we could definitely use it next turn, but we only have Tinker. We only have three draws left. It's pretty brutal. Well, they can gain life with Courser, but... That's true. It's a slow road. Oh, there's a triome. So now we know you have Augur. I wrote Augen. The Gutenheim. <laughs> the Gutenheim. I feel Augen. like Augen could be it. Augen Gutenheim? Yeah. Is that your is that your dad's name? No. Okay, cradle. Yep. Play your cradle. Up oh, forest. So this is where they break even. Don't care about either of these. Oh man, they're just gonna go ham. Ham swine skillet. Kind of an outlet though. Ain't you? I mean, at thirty nine, I'm feeling pretty okay about my life. Don't care about forest. They're still at five. They could crack this and go to four. Oh, yeah, I forgot they have that guy still. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now we know they have Augur, and they're drawing force, and they have two other cards. Oh, this is going to be tapped? Oh, God. What? Jesus, you're really escalating here. This feels like a lot of mana. So It's a walking ballista. It kills our shield, or yeah, it's pretty bad. That does suck. Are they just going to let us untap? What? Alright, I guess we're just going to gain life for no reason. I accept. Wait, aren't they just dead? How are they dead? We play this, we play high tide. We gain a life. They can respond with bullets though, right? To do what? To bring us below the cannon. Wait, we don't just attack... And make them do it, and then if they post combat, we can win, maybe? Why'd you guess that first? Because I want to make maximize the mana I get. This is negative three? Oh, God. I thought it was negative two to use his second ability. That's not good. Yeah, it's a 5-5. Five, five. And then if we play this... Oh, man, that's so unfortunate. God, I keep just wasting spells, man. Spells, man! Yes, he's a spells, man. Maybe it's past turn, they don't do it. No, they figured it out. What? I, I, they didn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> it's your trigger, not theirs. <laughs> yes, you can tell because it has a Jace on it. Oh, God. That's man. so discouraging. And we only would have gained one life. We would have gone to 42, so it doesn't do anything, and then they just kill it with Force of Vigor. But having it in hand to, like, chain spells would have been much better. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I imagine they're going to upkeep, add a bunch of counters to it to keep it alive, and then kill Shieldred. That's my guess. Four, put one counter on it. Yeah. Yep. 
Yep, that's pretty good. Now we are the dire. It's actually hard, pretty hard to keep up with. Flying in with Venser? I don't think Venser flies. Unless he's got a new ability. Yeah, they patched him. It's been, it's been, uh, he's been buffed. That is a good reason. I agree. You're going to pay the four? No, you're going to go to four. Okay. So we, they drew this. They have these two. Sheldock goes into play, sure. Fencer gives you wings. You gotta have some kind of stat daddy in there, right? I mean, I know. Play that. I dare you. I mean, they can just kill Venser. One, two, three, four. Oh, they also have scavenging use, so they just literally activate on whatever we target. So that's that's also out. Yeah, I think we've probably lost this game. I can't really foresee a thing we can do that actually gets us anywhere. Yeah, that's going to kill Jace. We don't have a ton of great card draw either, I don't think. Sure, now you have Mana Vault. Dude, hearing birds still singing at like 9 p.m. is super weird. Yeah, that also tripped me out. I'm like, how early is it? Uh, the doppelganger joke gets worse these days. Also, like, Conley Woods is, like, arrested for sexual assault and hasn't been around for, like, a decade. That's so. what I was referring to. You know. Oh, yeah, I think they can I think they can muster a win before they deck themselves. We only have force of the wind. Mustered a wind? Yeah. <laughs> what wind? Mustard. So this is white and this is black. So they can actually cast a Traxa. That's pretty good. I don't even need to. I think we, we big did. Yeah, it's rough. I mean, them having Rex Age for this is just yeah, it's too good. Pretty good. Really, you're gonna take a creature? Take the Tinker out. Take the good stuff out. This is the third game too. I guess right? they don't care. This is the third game. Second game, we accidentally dark ritualed. Oh, yeah. Um, I was hoping I forgot, and this was an epic game. You did forget, and then you reminded me. We're also so close to just having 50 for this. But not <sighs> no, not close enough. Wow. It just keeps getting worse. So they have a track set in hand. They found the ring of <laughs> I feel like they already had it. <laughs> Do they... Needed that one crazy fastball and turned the game nuts. Yeah, I mean, you're playing stuff all over the place. You're going crazy. Maybe. Do you kill my Vencer and finally attack? That would be cool. No? What's going on? There's more counters, huh? I'm kind of surprised they're not just casting a Traxa here. Okay, here we go. So it's four, five, six, 11, 12, 14. That's good. That's about a third of my life total. So we got 27, 28. Well, we just we just won, so that that does it. That kills them. Oh, we actually see if we can activate it on their upkeep. Name Carnage. Hope they name Carnage as well, and then all their shit's gone. That is an out. <laughs> it's not a good one. It's not a good one. What do you mean try? You're right. That would have. Oh God, scavenging is. It's true. 
You just didn't want it hard enough. No, don't like that. It's about the grind, as they say, you know? Is it? No, I hate that mentality, actually. Motivation is good if you're like super lazy and doing nothing with your life, but then once you're a normal human, it's terrible advice. Yeah, I think if it's, I think if you have any sort of, um, if you, if you desire any sort of work life balance and you know normal lifestyle, I think it's uh, pretty toxic. As someone who used to work sixty hours a week, not great. It was cool when I had the option though to catch twenty two or whatever. Yeah. Or whatever. Want to work next round? I'll work 30 hours. Yeah. You do 60. Okay. Okay. Cakester. Cakester, cakester. Okay. Are you okay? Are you falling asleep? Yeah, Michael, it's not even 9 o'clock. Well. Well. You ain't got no bill already. Yeah. Poor little muggy, he was a bit early yeah. to go be the bed, the big mug, mug, the sleepy boy. Yeah. Sure, you can have that. I tried to nap. So mad I couldn't sleep. Was so close. I was so mad. Ooh, I was cranky. Yeah. Did you crush any Big Macs while you were trying to sleep? I didn't almost get a Big Mac today, so the opportunity could have happened. God, man. I, I actually was going to get one, but then the hailstorm happened. I fucking love Big Macs. Hero's downfall. Sure. <laughs> that guy was negligible. One man, zero mana artifact. Also, isn't he like a villain in the story, right? Jace, yeah. No. Baral? Yeah. I think so. So, so it should be exactly. villain's downfall. So that should actually be countered for flavor reasons, and they should lose. Wow. Because they cheated. Well, Wizards made it legal. Dang it, Wizards. <laughs> I would really love to get one single artifact. Dave's single? And then I'll get you one. I would love a Dave's single. God, this is a real fast food chat. Talk about Big Macs and Dave's singles. They're both bangers. Well, let's see what this it's core on there. I think they don't have brains out. Someone who has very little of a brain, I don't understand it. Who's at the door? Mothman? It's likely Mothman, yeah. It's a fun show, though. Four mana, what's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. So I can either lose three cards at random, or I can choose to pitch these two. I really want to just keep the Tinker, and I guess I have a... Well, this gets you a back from Sharon. Gets me what back? Tinker? Yeah. Potentially. Yeah, we'll do that. What the hell? Cool. You took the three I wanted. Eh, actually, it's fine. What do I care? I get to flip Jace next turn. And Tinker. And Tinker. And Tinker. If you can't get a high C, get yourself a junior bacon cheeseburger. Doing a Tinker. That's a, that's not it. God. That's a deep inside Risk. joke. It's a bachelor party exclusive joke. <laughs> that was actually, you know what? They don't have high C. All right, look, give me that, give me that big combo with the for the burger and the nuggets and the fries. That's your substitute for a drink. Believe it or not, that wasn't actually me, which is fascinating. Yeah, that was our friend Jake. We were gonna get McDonald's, and he was like, "Yeah, just give me a high C orange or whatever." Yeah, we're getting like snacks or like. And a, then uh, McDonald's is closed, so we're like, "Hey, we're getting Wendy's instead." And he's like, "Oh, Wendy's? Okay, give me this big combo." And we're he like, also still had the drink he wanted, but he decided he wanted a whole combo. And we just had an insane amount of Indian food. Maybe you did. Yeah. Great. Some cheesy nons. Mm, yeah. 
you know, cheese not much. So here's the thing. We get to look at the top two cards. I would like to high tide now. I guess we could always tinker this. Yeah, that's actually true. That's what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to go high tide. Let's tinker about that. <laughs> play that on guitar oh, fudge are you kidding how do bad things happen to good people buddy that's terrible that's the whole world holy fuck dude that's terrible yeah, i don't think we can actually do anything Does our deck function anymore <laughs> so i'm not sure Oh, boy. We're literally two mana short from this. Yeah, if we could do that this turn, it might be all right, but we cannot. So. <laughs> it's all wrong. Uh, I'm having a good time. That's terrible, man. I can't believe we just hit that. We dropped all our marbles <laughs> into the ocean, and we'll never get them back. Yeah, I don't think we can actually win the game now. And they can with their big beast. They can with their big beast. We do not have the beast in our sights. God, Michael makes so many noises. I wish my spine didn't always hurt. I guess we have this in hand, so if we hit like Dark Ritual, we can go Dark Ritual Mind's Desire for two, you know? Yeah, man. That would get us there. I don't know to where, but... If we had, like, one more island, I feel like we could have almost certainly done this. We would have hit this for four. So this would have been one, and then four storms. So that's five spells, plus this. Like... Yeah, we'll get life, but we're not going to have a turn where we can storm now. Like, not for a good amount. Yeah, whatever, Gristy. Oh, wow, they're taking it. Oh, they milled a mox. Wow. Must be must be nice as the kids say. Oh boy. I guess we play that pass next turn try to do something. I don't know. No, we're playing this and going to get a mana drain, I believe. Something we know about like a one or anything? No, but I want to tempt them to get something big. Well and then we counter it with mana drain and then we get to get something else with it. Or we can get a Yog Moss Will for next turn. No, we're gonna get Mana Drain next turn if we counter something big. We get Yog Moss Will. Yog Will is actually a way we could not lose. Agreed. Especially if this gets to just survive for a turn. Although they just beat sure. our face in, we cannot do. We're that. at twenty-seven. Mana Drain's Stay gonna give us a chance. Point, you know, the whole point. Stick. Yeah, one whole point. One whole hit point. Do you oh, get life Lord. from playing the mines? Oh, we already answered that. I don't think you get off the storm copy. I don't know. Maybe. You're yeah, because you them, can. Right? You, yeah, okay. Um, you're casting them, right? I don't know. You're copying them. So I don't know if you do. I don't know. There's too many layers. So just, <laughs> let's find out. Not actual layers, but. There's too many layers! Get out of my swamp. You're in the swamp? It was just a. Because you said layers of onions and the Shrek reference. That was, that's all. That's all. Folks. I love when you do your porky pig, you know? <laughs> you like that? Do your little, do your little porky pig for me, Michael. <laughs> Sounds. Oh, when, you, when you use that voice, it gets worse. Michael, do your porky pig yeah, for me. Yeah, see, it's not good. <laughs> but my breathe really heavy. Like, <sighs> Michael, I want the porky pig, please. <sighs> Is that weird? Yeah, that gets to the saw level. So, man, of all the things to counter, I just need the mana, baby. Give me my stupid wish claw back, you little bastard! <laughs> you little, you little bastard! What's that from? Wish claw, you bastard! What if he doesn't use it? He I probably think. won't. Yeah. He probably won't. You know, because he hates he jerk. hates America. Robots are getting big. 
That's what she said. What do you think this is going to be? Do we just mine Zara for one here, you think? I think we literally have no choice. So. <laughs> what are we waiting for here? You know, you're right. One, two, three, four. Nicobolus. Nicobiesel. It was a land. <laughs> no, we can't, <laughs> even, we can't even cycle it. So all right. That's worse. the end of that. Okay. That's all, folks. That is all. I feel like this guy's actually probably good. I feel like we kind of want this guy, to be honest. I'm just going to say I said that from the start. So Why are you saying that? You cut a swamp for that? Yeah, because I don't want to cut an island because we have a card called High Tide. So you want to maximize the number of islands. Tell me more. I don't have any more to tell you. Okay. Well, think about it. I won't. Just wrote it. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Oh, okay. You're just leaning really far back. It's just very weird, okay? You're being weird. It's my chair. I'll do what I want with it. Will you? What are you going to do with it? Put it back, apparently. Smart. Didn't consider that. You know what? I'm a risk. I'm a risk taker. to bed. She's got stuff to do, so probably low. Michael, she's not as tired as you. I don't know. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Just how we wrote it up. I don't know if we're gonna win any matches here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But we're sure gonna have fun doing it. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. Yeah. Easy to one. <laughs> we're working on it. So you're saying I also feel like this is not the easiest deck to pilot. Well, especially when you just play terribly. <laughs> <laughs> I think the worst part is we were so excited about that opener that we fumbled. Which one? The Dark Ritual? Lotus? Yeah. yeah, it was terrible. I was like, I got a Lotus Petal. I'll clearly sacrifice that. Oh, I don't have any other blue. <laughs> this is awkward. I love the game. You know? It's not about winning. Yes, it is. It's about winning. Stupid. <laughs> uh huh. That's correct. So we high tide here, and then we get one, two, three, so we net nothing. Hmm, fascinating. What is this? Instant sorceries, huh? So this is this only costs two. Doesn't matter though. Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna get figure it. out all the things we can't do. Moving on. I did. It's true. You can attack them for one. I'm doing it. Therapy. I'm waiting for them to let me go to the beginning of my combat step. They're being rude. Why don't they let you? I don't know. Because it really hurts my feelings. The Wookiee Slayer? What a terrible person. With two R's at the end, too. What's that about, you know? I feel like, I don't know. There's no way the Wookiee Slayer was taken, right? That feels like low odds. The Wookiee Slayer with one R is taken? All right, just give me a second R. I'll fix this. Maybe they actually put two R's and then didn't notice it and it was too late. See, that was a good draw. That's what father likes. Did you know that? Do you know that about father? That he enjoys that? He just told me, so I guess, yeah. Okay, you don't have to be snooty about it, you little biscuit. I'll do whatever I want. Mm. My angsty years. <laughs> Is this a phase you're going through? It's not a phase, Mom. <laughs> I understand. Are you going to kill this? You don't got anything. Are you going to bounce this guy? That does nothing. I don't think he's going to do that. He didn't. You know what I'm going to do? Kill every last one of these motherfuckers. Let's go homage. What else are we getting? Lotus Petal? Second Island. Nice. Kind of like a Lotus Petal, but it's slower. <laughs> it's true. So let's say we go high tide. We have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, seven mana. We can tinker for two. Get Bolas's Citadel. And then we have five mana for, for Mind's Desire. So this is five, six, seven total mana. I think that feels correct. I was thinking about something else, so I'm going to let you Jesus God. go with it. 
It's a lot, there's so much pain in my heart. Don't buy any parts. Those are pain pain free. Always. Yeah. Every day. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. I don't think I care about keeping a red. So I'll just use this. We'll tinker this guy. Get Bolus's Shitadel. Play a spell. Okay. Okie dokie. Brain a storm. I'll, I'll put the Mind's Desire back on top. Well, I was going to put both on top now. Yeah, do it. Do both of them. That. Click on each card. How do I know which one goes on first? I hope it goes this way. Thank you. Great. Hooray. Don't draw cards with me. Uh, target opponent exiles cards from the top of their library and then I can cast uh, the first non-land card. They exile cards plus one as each opponent exiles two cards from their hand. Negative four deals seven damage to target opponent. Creature and opponent controls or planeswalker. Or I can exile... Do the first one because you get more... Well, we're just going to cast well. this for now. I guess it's too late. Oh, Shieldred. Put the little guy down there first. Oh, let's play this first. That's game. Oh, that's so satisfying. Wait. What? I lost. I killed myself because I played this with four life. I was not looking at my life total. <laughs> that's hilarious. Still satisfying. That was epic. Wait, is there any way we could have avoided that? I guess we play Shieldred. And we don't have a way to draw cards. I would recommend not paying for life. Smart. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have checked my life total. Yeah, we definitely would have totally won that game otherwise just off the free Minds Desire stuff, I think. I got so excited. If I had one more life, I would have been fine. I thought they conceded and I was like... I mean, so did I. It would be a it would be a a good time to concede. I mean, you would have won otherwise, probably. I mean, if I wasn't yeah, you, an idiot, you play that. You could also tutor. Oh, I could have Yogmoth's Will and then just play Brainstorm. Yeah, you could also like tutor with Talisman. You know, there's a lot of ways you could not die. I was I was apparently at four life. I played Aether Flux Reservoir off the top from Bolas Bolas Citadel, and then I died. I wish there was a warning like, hey, do you want to pay four life? Because if I'm in real life and I'm like. Oh, I'll, I'll look at my life total. I'll pay four, and then I'll like put it into play. Like, I'm obviously not going to do that. Well, that would require programming, and they haven't done that since. Oh, we could. We had charter course too. I literally could just click shoulder, click charter course, click Aether Flux Reservoir. Yeah. Yeah, I think we just would have won that game. 100, percent we would have won the game. My storm count was already like super high. They would have been dead for sure. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that because I. Uh, I guess there's no way to. I guess there's no way to manipulate your own library. So I don't know. I guess I'll concede this game that I already lost. Cool. That's sad. I, yeah, that's so sad. Your opponent must be like, wow, you really rage quit there. If I had three life, I would have been better off because I wouldn't have been able to pay. do it. Yeah. I feel like you shouldn't be able to pay down to zero regardless. Like I agree. You. Like, I thought that was actually a rule anyway. No, you can. You have four life, you can pay, and then you die. You just can't pay. You can't pay life you don't have. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. That's really frustrating because I think that actually would have been a good game. And by good game, I mean we definitely had the win on board. And our opponent's just like, keep playing, idiot. And I'm just like, okie dokie. And I did. I just kept playing. At least you're not a looking killer, you know? <sighs> God, I got so excited. I, th I was like, wait, we already, we're not, we didn't win a game. Why did the match end? Did our win count for two because it was so epic? Yeah, bro. It did not. They hit the mega concede button. It just gives you all the games. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good button. I really don't like this fucking asshole, though. This guy sucks. You like this guy? Playing him, yes. You like, this, no. you like this, uh, this creatureistic study? Oh, God. Is this the clip? Affinity, no, please. Oh, this is a different one. Well, I mean, we have two very good, good plans. I'm playing here. X. Been all the way through the other plans, all the way down to X. Man, Chandra, I'm gonna crack it. Crack it. Please. What? Oh, oh my god! I wanna make the face in the video. How did you remember this? Affinity is like, wait, I remember there was a clip 
That's unbelievable to me. How how's that even possible? Because he's a robot <laughs> set from the future. Like, wait, there's a clip where Frank's opponent is at one, and they accidentally crack a fetch land, and I clipped it and I named it Crack It, and I'm gonna play it right now. Fanny is actually the secret. Um, how's that even possible? Real artificial intelligence made by. Um, that's like shockingly impressive. Like I don't even understand. Like. Bill Gates. Affinity has to be an MIT genius, right? Like, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Might be a jump, but maybe just a good memory. Maybe he's got a photogenic memory. That would make sense. A photogenic memory? A photogenic memory? I don't have one of those. <laughs> I barely have a memory at all. <laughs> Unless it's the current thing I'm obsessed with. Couldn't tell you. Are there dogs in here? Who's in that bed? There's at least one. Who's in there? I think that's Huntsy. You but I'm know? not sure. Yeah, you should verify. I can't see. You're in the way. All right, look. No, he was Oh yeah, he's <laughs> he's barely in there. <laughs> do you have a memory of this, Michael? Do you have a memory of this? Maybe. Starting the rat train. Here. Yeah, we do. We do. Send him on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> have you ever? That is my Send finest work. Down to rat train. And then, have you ever gone outside and what did you say? Give him a call in the rat <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> what the fuck? God, brilliant, what? brilliant. Send him on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> so good. And the reason why it's still my Twitter. Yeah. Michael, let me tell you something. Twitter handle my Twitter bio. And. Custom as a man. <laughs> oh, he's a funny guy. Funny guy. I like that after that whole spiel I did, Affinity didn't respond to my comments. He's just like, he's just probably like, Let them brew. Yes, that is what I am. I thought I named it Sackit, but then I checked the command list and saw it under Crack It. But yeah, I remember the opponent cracking a bunch of life. Dude, I didn't even remember that. That's insane. I I didn't remember that even happened at all. I didn't all. even know what that clip was going to be. That was like a mystery. Can like, guess, guess who? who? Yeah. Wow. It's a mystery. Also, when that guy has counters on him, it gets worse. Who, this guy? No, Sentinel. The Sentinel? Oh, yeah, obviously. Really? So he was like one of my favorite cards in uh, Kenrith. You just put counters on him. Who's Kenrith? Dead. Okay, hold on. I mean, we have two very good, good plans. We're on plan here. X. Been all the way through the other plans, all the way down to X. Man, Chandra, I'm. Oh, crack it. Crack it. Please. What? Oh, oh my god! Also, the freeze frame of you doing this and me doing this is really good. Also, like, what? We just became those guys. Our opponent was this excited when we played Aether Flux Reservoir off the top of our library. I don't know if he's as excited as us. I would have been. I would have been like, you fucking idiot. Yeah, but he's the Wookiee Dude, when you got Bolas' Citadel, you just stop paying attention to your life total. You just want all those free spells. It's literally like... Can't confirm. It's, look at my face in this one. It's like it's like Greed Incarnate. It like literally just makes you forget. Oh, yeah. You forget who you are, you know? Anytime something... In, like I, Commander's easier because you have more life, but every time they're like, you could pay X life, and I'm like, yeah. And I will. Eight life a turn with library? Yeah, let's do it. I ain't no chicken. I ain't no chicken. <laughs> Michael, are you a chicken? I've actually lost plenty of games. Where, not that I paid down to zero, but like, I just like had a commanding lead, and then I realized I got myself to like ten life, and then everyone kills me because I'm like, oh wait, I just don't have enough blockers because I'm an idiot. You, you're, you're a chicken, Michael. No, it's the opposite. You're a beautiful little chicken. I feel like we got a good hand here to set up some things. They're gonna vindicate this. I'm sure we'll fumble. <laughs> We've been we've had a lot of fumbles tonight. I don't think so. Or punts, as the magic community likes to say. Once per match. Once per match. Oh, babe, congrats. Oh my god, that, that took long so long, long, dude. Almost done with this whole draft. Oh, what are you naming? What do you think they're naming? They're Good not job, gonna Katie. name anything, because I'm playing this. Whoop. Whoop. I name You die, boy. I mean, babe, for the amount of money that you got paid, I think it's probably fine, right? Oh, we just win the game. This is what we're talking about. This is how we win these matches. Our opponent's like, I'm out. This is so still cheap yet in real life, or are they still like? I think the cheapest is like fifty-five. Let's look it up. 
funny because that's still more than I paid the first time I bought my Forza Will. Wow, why don't but you, only about like five bucks. Why don't you to brag be fair. about it, thrifty? Well, it's not the cool art though. You know, it's one of the, it's one of the arts. And, you know, the not... the cheapest Force of Will is probably the Alliance's Force of Will now. <laughs> yeah, and I bet this sense. is her damaged copy though. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So the first, yeah, okay. So the first moderately played copy is about sixty bucks. So actually, the borderless and retro frame, or the borderless and regular frame from and and the retro frame from Dominaria Master are definitely the cheapest. This is the Your coolest one, but I wish it was. No. no, I got I got one in the cube. Oh, yeah, because it's a bendy boy and a foily boy. Yeah. I'd still like that borderless one the best. The one that's like $160. Oh, yeah, it's, a, it's great. A bit... But I like this one because it's Richard Kane Ferguson, and that guy's a legend. I don't know, but that does look cool. Richard Kane Ferguson looks like Ron Perlman. What's another art I'd recognize from him? What? Fucking a million arts. What are you talking about? I'm asking you for... Oh, that... Oh, now I know. Arcane Denial, Sulkanar the Swamp King. Like... Yeah, he's got a extremely famous, recognizable... Wait, is that him? Like, go up? Oh, more. This is him. He looks like Ron Perlman. Oh, wow. He does look like a slightly different Ron Perlman. He looks like... He looks like Clay Morrow. Oh, yeah, I do remember his art post where he, like, posted as his, his... Like, that one right there? Yeah. Yeah, where he's, like, holding the sword. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was epic. At first I was like, oh, that's a cool model. I'm like, wait, it's just him. That's sick. <laughs> oh, that's just you. It's like one of those pictures where like someone does something cringe, but then they're actually cool enough to pull it off. You know what I mean? Yeah, because they're not a, they're not a chud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do your big, do your big arm stretch. They call him Michael Arm Stretch. You stretching? You dying? You ain't stretching, you're dying. Well, that's not the best. So I stretch. So I think keep me going. Jesus, Scott. Oh, what up, Tiger Niz 8? And my weird addic addiction to... Addic <laughs> addic 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 is that true? <laughs> I heard that if you don't use it, you lose it. Is that true? Yes, Pillage is also a Richard Kane Ferguson. Kurt, I would it's apologize for not winning more games and matches with this deck, but I know you don't actually care about that. But I feel like we did some cool stuff, you know? Yeah, well, it's some epic moments. So here's what I'm thinking. Okay. Do it slower, though, so you don't lose. <laughs> I mean, we could just play this now and then do it do it all next turn. That feels safer, right? Oh, because of Mana Tithe? No, not because I don't give a fuck about Mana Tithe. No, what just because it gives us more mana. Like, we don't have any mana this turn. Yo. Oh. I didn't think you were actually considering doing it this turn. Seems no, I was going to play this for this. Let them money. draw their card. And then... Chud, donate a dollar. I can pull stuff off. Who said I can't? <laughs> you know what? I only play Kitchen Run, Chud. I'm sorry. I think we're going to... You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Chud, you are one beautiful Chud. Slowly, Chud. Dude, what's the definition of Chud? Because I don't want to start saying something that's inappropriate. Probably is. Oh, God. Oh, the title of the movie is an abbreviation that stands for Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers. I think it might have a different definition, though. Definition? Definition. <laughs> Just look up Chud definition. Or a slang term used in online forums to describe someone with right-wing political views, usually only used when describing a fascist, Nazi, or Trump supporter. Okay, so. Yeah, I think accurate that, that still works, yeah. <laughs> so a Chud is a Chud. We've <laughs> right. Got it. Just a, Got a weirdo it. that nobody likes. I think you could probably be in either political spectrum, but there are probably a lot more chuds on that side. I'm just saying I don't want to get too political. but It's too late. You already did it. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, so we have three, four, five, six mana right now. We could tinker away this mana Valto, or we can just play an Ophiomancer and give them one more turn, which I think is probably very safe. Stop giving them turns. Kill them. I can't kill them, and the more turns we give them, the better off we'll be. Because next turn we can Tinker and Reservoir. What if they have the one white counter spell that puts on top of your deck? That's not real. It is real, but I, don't I know it's it's, it's called something. It's not memory lapse. Memory no, lapse is the blue one. It is something lapse though. I think to reference it, but let's just look up lapse. I'm surprised more people don't jam into lapse kind of, of certainty. Yeah, I knew it was. And it's also three instead of two. So all they did was crack their clue. This game is over. I it's I I don't want to get ahead of myself. 
feel like you do want to get yourself. But this game hath ended. I actually don't know why people don't jam it in Commander. Jam? Jamming when you discard? What does that do? Get in the yard, then get Yawgmouse. <laughs> I mean, now we just have to wait and, and hard cast it. I mean, we just wait another turn, I guess. Keep on waiting. Okie dokie. We could have also just played Nickel Bolas, I guess. Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. Mm. Does expose the reservoir. That's fine. I'm playing white. Oh, we could brainstorm back on top, but we have to have brainstorm. brainstorm. Are you still there? Did you leave? They're at 22, not 20. What is that? I mean, this deals 50, so I don't really care about that very much. I still think that works out. I'm just going to block here. She says she's overwatching, but does that oh, mean yeah. she's playing Overwatch? Yeah, or she's, she's overwatching Overwatch. your stream, huh? No, I asked if, if, I was like, maybe can I draft? And she was like, yeah, I, I want to play some Overwatch anyway. So I was like, cool. 22 minus 50 equals 2. Damn it. Well, I'm no mathematician, so I'll just defer to the expert in the chat. They evoked this, but this is a black creature. They're going to be so sad. Don't they have to kill their own guys now? Yes, because that's how Shriekma works. So satisfying. Oh, I meant to do that. He goes, I get a trigger. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is oh, no. <laughs> The, cool the shame, stuff. the shame concede. It's a fair tactic. <sighs> She's like, uh, I, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What? Oh, I got my mom's calling me. I don't know if you heard her. She's in the other room. I it's gotta like, go. It's we're, like one of those like dinner. you fail something in public and you're just like, I have to leave now. <laughs> and then you never go to that place again. That guy will never enter the vintage cube queue again. I am always uh, in fear of doing something really embarrassing in the gym and having to quit that gym. So Jesus, <laughs> that's okay. He has four gym memberships, so he just goes to a different one if he does that. It's entirely untrue. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on YouTube, wherever you want to find the videos. And uh, hopefully we can embarrass ourselves even more next time. I'll see you later.